Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I've got my January melting basket to share with you guys. Better late than never, right? Today is January the 8th, so I'm a bit late, so forgive me for that. But my sweet friend Anya on YouTube, she is Wickless with Curly Q. She tagged me in a melting basket, pick your favorites to melt in January type of tag. And so I was like, heck yes, I love tag videos. And who doesn't want to start the year out melting favorites? Because I was actually kind of stumped with what I was going to be melting this month. I didn't know if I should just like finish off everything that I had started in like September, October, November, December, and just try to like empty out all of the unempties. I didn't know if I wanted to do, you know, keep doing like the tree outdoorsy scents, if I wanted to do a specific vendor. And she said that she was going to start the year out melting her favorites. And I was like, you should totally do a tag. That would be really fun to kind of like do your melting basket slash favorites. And so Anya, thank you so much for tagging me. And so if you want to see what I'm going to be melting this month, January, 2024, I can't even believe it's 2024. Grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a blanket. I feel like this is going to be a long one, you guys. So just settle in and please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So first of all, can we talk about this cute shirt? It says Wax Addict. And my friend April, April Lee, the Wax Queen, gifted this to me so kindly. She didn't tell me it was coming. I was actually out of town for Christmas and came home and got it and had no idea what it was. Opened it up and it's this adorable shirt that says Wax Addict. And like, she could not have gotten me a more perfect gift. I'm obsessed with it. The color is so cute. It's so comfortable. And I'm sure you all know who April is, but if you don't, I will leave her channel linked down below as well as Anya who tagged me in this January melting basket slash favorites video. So let's get cracking because I've got a lot of stuff. Y'all know when, when it's like favorites or pick your favorites or even just a melting basket, I tend to not just pick a few things, but I go completely ham because I have zero chill, especially when it comes to wax, especially when it comes to favorites. So as always, my entire desk is completely full. I've lost a week. I haven't really lost a week. I've already kind of gotten a head start on some of these things and um, I've been melting all week. And so some of these that I'll show you are like half C's because I've already started melting. So I'm going to try to go by vendor and I didn't pull every single vendor because I'm going through and inventorying my wax. I've got my spreadsheet all complete. It feels so good. And so as I was doing that, I kind of grabbed things after I inventoried them. And so some of them I'd already done and they're already put away. And I was just like, you know what? We'll just go with this because it's a ton and I'm probably not going to get through it. I have a two week work trip at the end of the month. So I've really only got about two more weeks to warm. And so I really need to get started. So let's begin. We will start with second and spruce because it's right here. I pulled smoked eggnog, which this, her eggnog is so good, you guys. The notes are eggnog, mallow fireside, and smoked vanilla. I'm not going to smell everything, but I just had to. You guys, her eggnog is something special. You really get that marshmallow fireside and the smoked vanilla mixed with that creamy sweet eggnog. It's just phenomenal. I'm obsessed. Can't wait to warm it. And let me stop really quickly and caveat and say that I'm really glad Anya chose to do favorites because I'm really bad. First of all, I'm really bad about hoarding wax, obviously, because we all know that I have a serious problem. Hello, wax addict here. And I'm really bad about hoarding things if I don't have a backup of it. So this just gave me the push that I needed to just go ahead, grab my favorites. And then if it's the last one or if it's not the last one, write it down can you know take it off of my inventory and really just warm things that make me happy and start off the year i'm really chatty today sorry you guys but back to the wax so next i pulled roasty toasty roasted pine cones toasted mallow cinnamon and sugar bakery spices i've warmed this one before i'm obsessed with it it's so good next is like one of my favorite scents from second and spruce and then one of my favorite scents period this is so good Tipsy Gingerbread Man. 
gingerbread cookies, eggnog, and frosted sugar cookies. Y'all know I'm obsessed with this. Can't wait to melt that. This one I've already warmed this month. Nutcrackers and gnomes, roasted chestnuts, pecans, masala chai, brown sugar, and marshmallow fireside. This is such a good, warm, nutty type of scent. It's beautiful. Love it. Also pulled this. I love this. And plus, I've already chopped it. So, too easy. North Pole Nights, vanilla balsam, palo santo, malo fireside, and a hint of minty breeze. Please excuse the messy bag, but Erica's wax is super soft and it's just been thrown into the bin. So sorry about that, but it's going to warm it just as beautiful. Love it. And then I pulled, this was probably my favorite scent from her RTS. And this is called Where There's Smoke. I am obsessed. I would buy loaves of this, you guys. It is the most beautiful scent. Mallow Fireside, Smoked Vanilla, Sugar Cookies, and By the Fireplace type. Can we just talk about these scent notes? These are like all of my favorites. And the combination that Erica did, I don't know what sort of magic she did. This scent is literally everything. It's phenomenal. I love By the Fireplace. It's one of my favorite perfumes. It's one of my favorite scent oils. Any blend that has By the Fireplace in it, I'm just automatically going to love. I love smoked vanilla. I love marshmallow fireside. I love sugar cookies. Like, say less. Y'all, this is just going to be a banger. It smells so beautiful. The by the fireplace really shines along with that smoked vanilla. The mallow fireside and sugar cookies kind of sweeten it a little bit. It's just sweet and smoky, which I love. Y'all, this scent is so good i'm so excited to warm that that is where there's smoke i'm really proud of myself for pulling it even though i don't have a backup see doing good next up is another one from the rts lavender sweet lavender malo cream vanilla cream buttercream sugar cookies and pie crust this is just a sweet lavender bakery that i'm obsessed with Next, I pulled Jammed Up and Jellied, Raspberry Jam, Sugared Strawberry Cookies, and Fresh Baked Bread. That sounds so good, and it smells so good on cold. And then lastly from Second and Spruce, I pulled London Fog, Earl Grey Tea, Lavender, and Vanilla. Yes, please. Love that. So that's everything from Second and Spruce. Next, I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just grabbing things. Next is my absolute favorite scent from Zape. Breakfast on bourbon. Y'all, I'm obsessed with the scent. Fresh hot beignets, sweet powdered sugar, and Earl Grey tea. As you can see, I've already started warming this. I actually warmed it today in my open concept. I love this scent. You really get that dough from the beignet with the sweet powdered sugar on the top next to a big cup of Earl Grey tea. It's so good and it's so cozy and comforting. It's a strong medium. I did this in my open concept, could smell it most of the day. Really love it. This was like a two pack of bunts and I have quite a few backups. Really love breakfast on bourbon. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend it. Next from Birdie's Making Scents, this is Hannah's Baby. This is my favorite scent from Birdie's. Strawberry white cake and zucchini bread, you guys. Her strawberry white cake and zucchini bread combo is just perfection. It smells so good. If you like those two notes, you should definitely give it a try. It's very popular and for good reason. From Scoopable Wax Melt, I pulled my favorite scent from their shop, Sea Salt Lavender Breeze. I'm obsessed with this. Summer days spent by the sea with a soft lavender breeze. You guys have heard me rave about this before. I'm obsessed. It's a beautiful, fresh, sweet lavender, and it's gorgeous, and it is such a banger. I love it so much. From Rainbow Melts, this is a newer favorite. I actually warmed it a couple of days ago, and I was just like, okay, I have another mini loaf of this, and I loved every second. This is called Elm Street. It is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie, and Marshmallow. It is so creamy and beautiful. I really like her Palo Santo. It's the creamy, smoky one, and it's really, really nice. I pulled two from Candles from the Keeping Room. I just pulled the um, sample sizes because her wax is paraffin and it's harder, so I like to do it in my Julianne warmer. 
And this first one is my favorite scent. This is Blueberry White Cake. Carol's White Cake is one of my favorites. It kind of gives a little bit of an almond lean. I have to smell this. And her blueberry is really good as well. Just love this scent. I love her white cake on its own. Blueberry, strawberry, literally with anything. And then I also pulled coconut milk and lavender for a nighttime melt. It's just a really sweet, like a bakery sort of lavender. Okay, next up is Britta's. From Britta's, I pulled cookies under the tree, sugar cookie, roasted pine cones, and sugar cookie dough. Y'all, this is so good. Britta has some amazing roasted pine cones oil. Oh, it's so good. It's just roasted pine cones and bakery. What is not to love? I'm obsessed. I pulled Christmas Eve. This is another one of my favorites. Fraser Fur, Danish Butter Cookies, and Sugar Cookie Royale. And this is just like Christmas tree with bakery. So yummy. And then I pulled Children of the Cornbread, which is hilarious name. Cornbread, Danish butter cookies, and sweet and creamy. So I pulled lots of yummy bakery blends. And also I would have pulled Kim's Special Eggnog. That is like probably my favorite scent from Britta's. It's roasted pine cones and eggnog. And um, I'm out of it. But I have some on the way or shortly on the way. I ordered it in a pre-order and I think I got a loaf of it because it's literally so good. So yeah, I would totally have pulled Kim's Special Eggnog and I'll probably throw it right in the melting basket as soon as I get it because that scent is so good. Okay, next up I pulled from 30A Scents. This is Pistachio Dream Cake. I love this one. Nutty Pistachios, Honey, Coconut Flakes, and Vanilla Cake. As you can see, I've already warmed one cube of this. I love it. This is not the artificial bakery sweet pistachio. This is a true nutty pistachio. And then you get that sweet honey. You get a little bit of coconut, kind of smooths it out a little bit. And then you really do get that vanilla cake. This is so pretty and it's not like most pistachio dream cakes. While I love them, they're just super sweet bakery, like artificial pistachio and hers is more authentic. Love that. From Super Tarts, I pulled English Gentleman Blue Sugared Cream Tea and Cakes. This is such a unique blend, and I'm so looking forward to melting it. It's like a creamy blue sugar with tea and cakes. It sounds so odd, and that's, I think, why I picked it up, but I'm so glad I did. If I ever see this again, I will definitely grab more. This is my one and only clamshell, but I'm going to warm it. Next, I grabbed Spread the Love, which I love. Blackberry jam, zucchini bread, and toasted mallow. Love me some blackberry jam. Next, I pulled Berry Good Cookie, which I love. House Berry Scent and Sweet Sugar Cookie. So this is just sugar cookies and berries, and it's really, really pretty. And then lastly, from Super Tarts, I pulled Jelly Rolls, Zucchini Bread, Jelly Donuts, and Sugar Cookie. This one is really good as well. And I would have pulled Jaws, which I love, but I'm completely out of. And I have it on the way to me or shortly on the way to me. I ordered it on the Wax Wednesday pre-order as well as a fake and bake those are two more of my favorite scents i also love yippee ki yay which i've warmed recently it's like a tree with sugar cookies or tree and bakery scent it's really pretty but i warmed it through that as well and i think i have more of that on the way too so that's all from super tarts oops i found two more from scoopable wax melts sorry the first one is soothing lavender dreams Sweet lavender marshmallow smoothie and baked zucchini bread. So just a sweet bakery lavender, which I love. Sorry if you guys can hear the rain. It's really stormy tonight. And then next up from Scoopable Carbs. Y'all know this is one of my favorites. Duck My Donut Royal Sugar Cookie and Fresh Baked Bread. I'm obsessed. I love carbs and really excited to warm through that mini loaf. Okay, next up from Southbound, I pulled Strawberry Pound Cake Lavender Frosting, Creamy Pound Cake Topped with Strawberries and Fresh Cream, Lavender, Vanilla, and Buttercream Frosting. 
This is gorgeous. This is a lavender bakery with strawberry and it is a banger. It is so good. And next up, I pulled my beloved, y'all already know, lavender cream puffs, lavender buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream and confectioner sugar. Y'all, this is what I compare all of their lavender bakery to. It's, it's perfection. It is perfection. If you like Lavender Bakery, I cannot recommend this enough. Go give Southbound a follow and get you some of this. It is so good. I need to move a little faster. I'm sorry. Okay, next from Sassy Girl Aroma, I pulled a shot of whiskey, a rich blend of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this scent, and now my husband is too. He actually asked me what I was melting the other day. He goes, what did you put in our bedroom and bathroom? Because it smelled so good in there, and it was this. So he is now a fan as well. One of my favorites. Such a beautiful scent. Another one I really enjoyed this year is Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. Hint of marshmallow and campfire with sweet chestnuts and brown sugar. I have almost finished this brittle. I have warmed the heck out of this scent. I love it so much. It's just, you know, smoky campfire, sweet chestnuts and brown sugar, say less, right up my alley. I pulled lavender cookies, lavender, vanilla, marshmallow, and sugar cookies. Pulled a lot of lavender bakery. I've really been loving it. I've really been into changing out my wax. I'll do like six to seven in the morning start my wax and then change it about three or four when i get home from getting my son from school and then do like a more of like an afternoon evening blend i've really been loving doing that lately next i pulled a bob jones y'all already know brown sugar zucchini bread and old town bake shop this is the one from my friend kayla thank you so much kayla for sending this to me love bob jones y'all know i just can't get enough Next, I pulled Godfather, which is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille Dupe, and it is incredible. Tobacco leaf, ginger spice, tonka bean, cocoa, and fruity accord. But this smells just like tobacco vanilla. It is so good. Next, I pulled Green Machine. No one is surprised. Pistachio, sugar cookies, zucchini, and marshmallow. Such a yummy pistachio bakery scent. I pulled Oath, which is Beach Nights, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, and s'mores, blended with roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. Beautiful scent. I've warmed the heck out of this, this fall and winter as well. Next up is one. It's an old favorite, and I haven't talked about it in a while. This is Baby Bop. I love this one. Strawberry zucchini bread and vanilla bean Noel. This is such a banger. I love this so much, and I'm looking forward to warming that. Next, I pulled Black Hood, which this is the replica by the Fireplace Stoop. I've warmed the heck out of this one, too, this fall and winter. Chestnut and smoky, woody accords mixed with sweet notes of vanilla and red berries. Floral combination of orange blossom and neroli essence. Y'all, this is such a good scent. Black Hood, it's so beautiful. I'm so obsessed with it. And I have the perfume coming. I'm so excited. Okay, next up I pulled Winter Biscuits. Love this one. The sweet scent of Christmas baking permeates the home with warm hints of cinnamon, buttery pastries, gingerbread cookies, and patchouli. It is so beautiful and it just comes alive on warm. It's really, really pretty. And I've been loving that. So that's everything from Sassy Girl Aroma. Okay, from Rose Girls, I pulled Blockbuster and Chill. This is one of my absolute favorites from Rose Girls. Pistachio, cherry cupcakes, and almond cookies. I haven't seen this one for a while, so hopefully she brings it back soon. Next up, I pulled Mario's Home for the Holidays. Christmas Wish, Oh Christmas Treat, Toasted Marshmallow, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I am not tired of tree yet, especially with bakery, so I pulled that one. Also, Koopa's Christmas Carols, Soft Pine, Sugar Cookies, Snow Powder, Mint, and Campfire Marshmallow. I love this one so much. I fell in love with it last year. My mom loves it. Like, it's just really, really good for fall and winter or any time if you're a mood melter like me. 
Next up, I pulled Quarantine 15, which is one of my favorites. White cake, vanilla crunch donuts, sugar cookie, and cherry almond. Why do I keep saying it's one of my favorites? Obviously, it's one of my favorites. I wouldn't have pulled it. Sorry, you guys. It's been a long day. Next up is the Midnight Society. Palo Santo, Sweet Lavender, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Y'all know Rose Girls does not have my favorite Palo Santo, but most times when she blends it, especially with like lavender that's a really strong oil, it tones it down quite a bit, and I really love this one. Along those same lines, I pulled Goodnight Moon, which y'all know I love. Sweet Lavender, Pink Sugar, Peppermint, and Birthday Cake. Love Goodnight Moon. It's such a beautiful scent. And then lastly, I'm actually warming this right now. This is Nilla Lavender Noel, which I think is Nilla Wafers, Sweet Lavender, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Beautiful Lavender Bakery. It's gorgeous and such a great performer. Okay, from Knowles, I pulled Summer's Blend, which I did a custom with him a while back. And this is Lavender Marshmallow, Vanilla Custard, and Zucchini Bread. I love this one so much. I've been hoarding it, but again, it's a little push I needed to just go ahead and finish it. Next up is Treats by the Fireplace. I am obsessed with this blend. Sugar Cookie Royale, Sweet Bakery Dough, Zucchini Bread, and By the Fireplace. I'll know if it has By the Fireplace in it. I am here for it, and this warms so beautifully. If you like these scent notes, please give this one a try. It's gorgeous. Also, I pulled Fertastic Marshmallow Dreams, Burr, Pine, Buttercream, Sugar Cookie, Marshmallow, and Sugar. This is another tree with bakery scent that I love. It was a really good performer for me. Enjoyed every second. So I just want to go ahead and finish this bag. And then lastly, I pulled Just the Breads, which is zucchini bread and Amish friendship bread. I love this. I actually have it in a loaf. And so I just wanted to get through this snap bar because it's from September of 22. Okay, guys, I'm seeing some of my desk now. So we're making some headway. Thanks for sticking with me in this long, really ambitious melting basket. But, you know, no one is surprised. So from Lavender and Speckles, first up is G's PB&J, peanut butter cookies, raspberry jam, sweet blackberries, marshmallow fluff, fresh baked bread, and a hint of funnel cake. This is such a beautiful PB&J blend, one of my favorites. I love it. Next, I pulled all my favorite scents, which is strawberry pound cake, roasted pine cones, marshmallow fireside, and icy vanilla woods. Yes, please. Those are all amazing scent notes and really excited. Next up, y'all are not surprised, Speckles birthday cake. And these scent notes are wrong, but it's basically birthday cake with an other um, bakery with a lot of Palo Santo. And it is perfection. It is so good. If you've never tried it, please go give it a try. Next up, I pulled Honey Pear Cotton Candy and Zucchini Bread. This is so good. Love this blend so much. It's Honey Pear Cider, Cotton Candy, and Zucchini Bread. And it is so good. Next, I pulled Beach Night Cookies, which I think she's calling it. Oh, she changed the name of it. Beach Marshmallows? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments, but she changed the name of it. But this is Beach Nights, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, and Sugar Cookie Royale. And this is such a good one. I feel like she's really well known for this blend. Next up is a newer favorite of mine. This is Pipe Smoke and Sugar Cookies. I got this, I think, in the fall pre-order, and I'm obsessed with it. Pipe Tobacco blended with Maple Bourbon and Sugar Cookie Royale. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love bourbon, and I love tobacco. And this is just so good. Sweet, but still warm. And it's just, it's so good. I would take, like, loaves and loaves of this. And then I couldn't not pull this blend. This has been my favorite from her shop since, um, I want to say, my very first order. Cinnamon sugar donuts blended with Palo Santo wood. I will never not have this blend if I can help it. It's that special to me. I love it so much. And then lastly, I also pulled Palo Santo, which is also very special to me because... I submitted this blend to Beth and she completely nailed it. And this is just Donut Shop and Palo Santo, cinnamon sugar donuts and Palo with roasted pine cones, which 
Yes. And I'm still on the fence of which one I like more because they're both just so good. So that's everything from Lavender and Speckles. Okay, from Teddy B's, I pulled Christmas Trees and Cream because I love this. Fresh Pine, Vanilla Waffle Cone, and Rich Buttercream. One of the best tree with bakery scents ever. It's creamy. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I also pulled Hot Pie, Palo Santo, Sugar Donuts, Hint of Chai, and a Dash of Pink Chiffon. This is such a gorgeous blend. Really excited to warm that. I pulled Weekend with Papa, Salty Sea Air, Vanilla Bean Noel, Toasted Marshmallows, Blended with Roasted Pine Cones. Another gorgeous blend. Super excited to warm. Next up, I chose the Three-Eyed Raven, Palo Santo, Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Birch, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cold Air. Y'all, I don't even want to tell you how many tubs I have of this, but it's just never going to be enough. This blend is everything. It is Sweet Lavender, Palo Santo, Vanilla Birch, Marshmallow Fireside. It's so good. And just look at that. This blend is amazing. If you like Sweet Lavender... It's, it's just, it's so good. Anything I feel like from the Game of Thrones line is just going to be perfection. Sorry, you guys, I keep having to cut and like take a drink or cough. I'm still trying to get over this cold. It's been brutal. All right. Next up is Carter. Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallows, White Birch, Palo Santo, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. This is one of my favorites from her pre-order and also holds a special place because my son's name is Carter, but this smells so good. And I'm going to just warm it and see how it does. It was just poured in October, and I normally like to let my teddy bees cure for 9 to 12 months, which sounds excessive, but I feel like the longer you wait with her wax, the better it is. But sometimes with these like more outdoorsy, woodsy types of scents, you don't have to wait as long. So I'm going to test that one out. Next up is Pacific Northwest Winter. I love this one. Fresh Snow, Pine Sap, Fresh Mistletoe. Vanilla Balsam, the slight hint of cranberries, and burning fireplaces off in the distance. Such a beautiful blend. I have to smell this one too. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's just very atmospheric, like she does so well. Love it so much. Next is Khaleesi, Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Oud Wood, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Fireside. This one was poured November 21st of 22, so it's ready to go. And I'm so excited about that. And then I pulled the North, which is one of my favorites from Teddy Bees. Vanilla Balsam type, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside type, and a hint of smoldering firewood. Her Vanilla Balsam and Palo Santo are like two of my favorite scent notes from Teddy Bees. It's just amazing. Yeah, the scent is everything. It's so good. It's such a good combination of all of those notes. And then lastly, I pulled Maraxis. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorns, cashmere cream, and sweet vanilla roasted pine cones. So, so good. This smells so incredible. Again, it was poured in October of 23, but I'm going to give it a go because it smells really strong on cold. And roasted pine cones, peppercorns, sweet plum, all those are pretty strong scent oils. So really excited for this one. I loved this one. All right. And now I'm going to go through what I pulled from Scentsy. These are a lot of my favorites that I could find. First up is Breakfast in Bed. And I don't know the scent notes for all of these, but I did have this one written down. Pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and sweet cinnamon. I love this one. It smells so delicious. Next up, I pulled a French Kiss, which is a newer love of mine. The notes do not sound like something that I would love. I think it's like fig or something else. But y'all, this scent right here, if it ever comes back to voting with Bring Back My Bar, I will like vote for it every day. French Kiss is like a banger. I pulled Almond Croissant, which I love and I feel like a lot of other people love as well. Maraschino Sugar Cookie. Love this one. This is probably one of my favorite Scentsy scents ever. I pulled Rum Pum Plum, which is my new favorite. 
think I've warmed this at least like every week and I have like several other bars on hand but I feel like it's just never enough because the scent is so good starburst sky which is a scentsy heartbreak for me I started loving it and it had already like gone out of the catalog but it is so pretty so it's like a love or hate but it's like a sweeter it's just it's pretty it reminds me of like clouds for some reason it's like soft and sweet it's just so good it's not overly anything it's just a really subtle beautiful scent love that i pulled cinnamon buttercream you guys have been watching me you know that scentsy buttercream is like my favorite anything with their buttercream in it is so good because you can distinctly smell it and i feel like that's really hard to do so cinnamon buttercream i pulled vanilla barnwood which is another one that i really love i love it on warm it's kind of like sweet and woody which is a good combo I like sweet and smoky sweet and spicy sweet and woody it's just it's perfect that this is such a good one it's also in my club i'm obsessed with it Another one that went out of the catalog but is in my club that I love is Bonfire Beach. This one is so good. This is another one of those like soft, fresh, just really pretty. I feel like Bonfire Beach is one of those more universal scents that like most everyone will like. It's just soft and fresh and really, really pretty. Vanilla Waves, which is also not in the catalog anymore, which is a lot of a favorite of a lot of people. It's just a really pretty vanilla with a little bit of warmth. I think there's caramel and then like sea salt. And it's just a really, really nice blend as well. I feel like a lot of people really like this one too. It's a universal type of scent. It's not super anything. It's just subtle and nice. And then lastly, for Scentsy, I pulled Jammy Time, which I really didn't think based on the scent notes that I would like, but y'all, I love this scent. Love it so much for a nighttime scent. It's just cozy and beautiful. Comforting. It's a good, like, evening to nighttime blend. So that's everything I pulled from my melting basket this month. That is enough because Lord knows I'm not going to be able to melt all of this, but it was really fun pulling all of these scents. So I think I'm supposed to tag three people. So I will tag Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris, um, Christine from Christine's Scent Scene, and April, April Lee Wax Queen. I tag you lovely ladies to do your melting basket or your favorites or whatever you want to do and share. So thank you again to Anya for tagging me. This was so much fun and this is quite an ambitious melting basket, but no one is surprised. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.